Big old Rochdale the next test then, a couple of days after that Boxing Day game, how much is there an incentive within the group to, to put things right, if you like? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to put things right from Boxing Day. Obviously, it was a disappointing day for everybody. Uh, but we're back at home, obviously Thursday night, and um, we, need to, we need to bounce back. There's not really a lot of time, is there, to, to get on the training pitch and, and practice things like that? There's a lot of it being sort of video work and, and trying to sort of improve areas like that. Yeah, we do have a lot of videos anyway, so we've done our work on, on the opposition. Um, and then we've been out on the grass both days, to be fair. We was out on the grass the day after, getting uh, getting our bodies right. And then, obviously, today we've been, we've been out there preparing for tomorrow's game. What do you make to Rochdale? They've had it tough this season, haven't they? We beat them there at their place 2-1 back in October. They were beaten by the same scoreline against Hartlepool on Boxing Day. So they're a team coming here, maybe a bit low on confidence, but with nothing to lose as well. Yeah, definitely. I think we can't take anyone lightly in this league. Anyone you come against, whether the, the league position says different, they're, they're going to be a tough team to play against. Um, Thursday's going to be no different. Um, so we need, we need to make sure we're on it and we, we start the game really well. You're a player whose energy levels are, are one of your biggest assets, aren't they? You're able to get about the park with no real struggle at all, but it, it, does it even test you at this time of year when you're having to go sort of back to back within a couple of days of each other? Um, I I stroll usually the day after a game, um, which is which is just normal. Um, but I think it's a bit it's a mental thing as well that you've got a game in a couple of days' time. I like to think that I'm I'm ready to go again now. Um, personally, it's not a problem that we've got another game. So uh, uh, only two days two days after the last one, but um, no, I'm ready to go again. Yeah, I feel fit and um, I'm looking forward to it. After a result like Boxing Day, is, is it probably the best thing to happen that you've got the game almost straight away? Yeah, I've said that before. Is, uh, when the games come thick and fast like that, you can you can put the last result right, um, sort of put it behind you. So the fact that we've got a game two days later is uh, is a good thing, and hopefully hopefully we do put it right. I haven't had a lot of home games recently, have we? For for one reason or another, the last one almost a month ago against Walsall, given that the Harrogate postponement. Is there a sense that getting back here may enable the team to to start to put a run together? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh, we need to we need to be better at home all round. We know that um, that was a an aim in the summer that we want to we want to obviously be good at home and win a lot of games. And it's not quite gone that way. But obviously, as the new year's coming round, we need to we need to start picking our home form. And hopefully, that starts against Rochdale. You've got a couple of goals, haven't you, at this place so far this season? How nice has that been to to get off the mark and then, and then add to it as well? Yeah, it's great. It's great playing at home. I love playing here. It's, um, it's a great ground and I, I always like the home games and obviously getting a couple of goals in, in front of that end there has been great but um, hopefully I can add to that as well and starting Thursday would be nice. Yeah, big chance to round off 2022 with, with three points isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And then obviously after that we've got two games, two days before the next game so we'd like to bounce into, into the next two games with positive results.